we present a novel imaging architecture for video compressive sensing. The traditional model for sensing uses a high resolution sensor that samples intensity variations in a scene. This provides a large measurement rate, typically in megahertz, but it can be very costly in the non-visible spectrum. For example, a shortwave infrared camera with megapixel resolution can cost upwards of $100,000. At the other end, we have the single pixel camera which employs multiplexing as opposed to sampling to obtain images of a scene. The single pixel camera is inexpensive, even in exotic wave bands, since it only uses a single photo detector, but it has a very low measurement rate, typically due to the operating speed of its spatial light modulator being in the kilohertz range. As a consequence, it's very hard to obtain high spatial and temporal resolutions using the single pixel camera. These two designs are but two extremes of a design space that is obtained by varying the number of pixels in a camera. In this paper, we show that having even a small number of pixels, typically in thousands, can provide measurement rates in megahertz while remaining inexpensive. We build a novel imaging architecture called Lysense that demonstrates this. To understand how Lysense works, let's first look at the single pixel camera. In a single pixel camera, the scene is focused on the digital micromirror device, or DMD, which is in turn focused on a photo detector. By varying the micromirror configuration on the DMD, we can obtain coded linear measurements of a scene. We make two modifications to the single pixel camera architecture. First, we replace the photo detector with a 1D array of pixels, or a line sensor. Second, we add a cylindrical lens to tightly focus the DMD onto the line sensor. Each pixel in the line sensor is focused on a row on the DMD and hence observes a line in the scene. Given that the DMD is programmable, the line sensor obtains coded 1D integrals of the scene focused on the DMD. Our lab prototype achieves measurement rates of 1 MHz using a line sensor with just 1,000 pixels. A key advantage of using a line sensor is that we can obtain simultaneous exposure and readout. In a traditional camera, during the readout of intensities, the sensor cannot be exposed. This reduces the duty cycle of the sensor, often significantly. In contrast, our prototype employs simultaneous readout and exposure, and hence, the sensor is always exposed to light. This allows us to obtain images at significantly higher qualities at the same frame rate. We look at Lysense reconstructions of a static scene. In this example, the capture duration is fixed to 880 milliseconds, which allows us to obtain a number of measurements equal to the dimension of the desired reconstruction. As we decrease the total capture duration, the number of measurements obtained by the camera decreases. However, the use of compressive sensing techniques allows us to retain the quality of the image. Next, we compare the reconstructions obtained by Lysense and the single pixel camera for the same capture duration. We optimize the parameters of the single pixel camera to obtain the best possible reconstruction for the given capture duration. In spite of this, the low measurement rate of the single pixel camera provides reconstructions only with low spatial resolution. In contrast, Lysense provides high quality reconstructions even at lower capture durations. Shown here is an outdoor scene captured using the Lysense camera. Finally, we look at video compressive sensing results using the Lysense architecture. We obtain videos at a spatial resolution of 1024 times 768 pixels at a frame rate of nearly 10 frames per second. This corresponds to a compression of nearly 8 times the Nyquist rate, and we use a 3D total variation prior to regularize the inverse problem. In summary, the Lysense architecture uses an inexpensive line detector to provide a significant increase in the measurement rate of the camera. This provides a scalable design for video compressive sensing. For more details, please visit our lab page.